Yeah, look at that. They're gonna be buttes, Clark. Sure beats painting with trim clad. Welcome to the Belsif Show. I'm your host, Dirty Old Belsif. Haven't done a video in a couple days. Been kind of sitting back, contemplating. I have, I've run into a few issues on the truck, of course, because, you know, that's what we do. So, of course, we got it running, as you know, and it runs all right, like, see? He runs pretty good. The problem I'm having, though, is it's a little rich at idle, and, just gotta get that right. Once we get that right, we should be pretty good. It's pretty close right where it is now, and it sounds pretty good as you can see. You know, it's got a little bit of lump to it, not much. It's got a little bit. But like I said, it's still running rich. So what we gotta do is, I get out the old throttle body, but I got off a broken thing for the throttle thing, so we gotta get it out, clean it up, and I'm gonna try to pop that back on, just to see if it takes care of my rich richness. I haven't got any vacuum leaks. We carb tested around the uh, throttle body, so that's good. So there's no vacuum leaks. Got to play with the um, regulator a little bit. Maybe drop the fuel pressure on it. And we'll go from there. Got the drive shaft in. We went with aluminum drive shaft, which I got. See, there it is there. But the next problem I'm having since I went from a two piece to one piece is my pinion angle's off whack. So what happens is, when I get on it, it wants to bind a little bit. So we gotta get some, basically we gotta get some pinion shims and we gotta shim the rear end now so we get the right angle so we don't bind the drive shaft. The aluminum drive shaft is a bit bulkier at the end for the rear end so I'm thinking that's probably why too but we'll get that figured out. But we gotta get some shims, take the back end back apart and re-pinion angle the rear end. Good old Jamie, how you doing, bud? Good old J and J body shop there. Got my bumper done. Remember my bumper was all scratched to dicks because I backed in on something. Look at her now, Jim. She is golden. Friggin' right it is. What a good job they did. And I also got my inner fender wells painted the same color as a truck, as you can see. So that should look pretty decent. We'll break up the black under the hood. But look at them. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, dick. Don't forget, if you need some body work done, go on over there and see Jamie at J&J. &J. He'll fix right up, you will. Fix it right, he will. Thanks again, bud, for uh, getting them done faster than what I needed them. But turnaround time was pretty good on that, it was. So thank you for that. But other than that, that's where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting at a engine that runs rich, um, a drive shaft that won't drive, Unless you just idle around. Inner fender wells that can't go in until I'm done the rest of this stuff. The only thing I really can do right now with this truck is uh, look at it. Which is okay. I don't mind looking at it. But I'm kind of fed up with looking at it. Even though I can't drive it yet. I, we, oh, we could uh, hook up the old dash cam here we got for it too. That's got to go in too. We got to get that done. That's for the old truck there. Yes. Hey Ben, how you doing? Bud, Ben got a nice new truck, didn't he? Friggin' right he did. Friggin' right you did. Why wouldn't you? But there's a few things we need to do. We can, you know, get these things cleaned up. Get them back together. Get the front grill back on. Get the hood back on it. There's all sorts of stuff to do. It's just, I don't want to do it. I just want to kind of sit back and take a breather here. Because I've been going pretty hard on this thing. Look how good that paint matches. Oh, yeah. Hey, eh? It's almost like it's the same color or something. Friggin' right it is. That's decent. Oh, I can sit back and drool all over that now. Fuck, why wouldn't I put my stuff where I can't reach it? Fuck, why wouldn't I? Eh. Speed Shield, don't want that stuff. I'm not a fan of that one. What's this one? Nope, that's the wrong one too. Hold on. What's this one? Nope, that's spot remover. Frig. Careful. What's this one? Hold on. Detailing. That'll work. Let's detail 
detail the uh, the old tailgate here and see how she looks. We'll give her an old Viper Ruski. By the way, I can't get over how nice it is out right now. It's like 50 degrees out and it's what? Winter time still. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Oh, this truck needs a wax job now. Our buffing. Holy overspray. Oh well. It's all part of the game it is. Right and right it is. Oh dick. There we go. Just a quick wipe to give you the idea. It's a pretty good idea right there. That's beautiful. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. The girl's coming back, she is. Oh, I should put those jack stands in the truck because they belong to work. I don't really need them now. Well, actually I might. What is that? Oh man, what's that from? Huh, that'll be dipped. Oh yeah, look at the back of that. I'm just gonna have to get the whole truck painted now. Frag those inner fender wheels are gonna look so good in there. Leave your comments down below if you think they're gonna look good in there. I sure do. Yeah, look at that. They're gonna be buttes, Clark. Sure beats painting with trim clad. Now I need to paint the whole firewall and everything. I guess I gotta pull the motor back out now. Let's pull the motor back out and we'll get the firewall painted. Hey Jamie, give me a week. I'm gonna pull the motor out on this bad boy and bring it back to you and we'll paint the firewall. Sound good? Perfect. Why wouldn't we? Not. Not happening. Hopefully this tape comes off because it's been off for a year. Oh no. Look at the mess. Oh God. That's not going to be fun at all. But it is what it is. What are you going to do? It protects it. It's all that matters. This is taped to the bumper. So that's going to be all over the bumper. Yep. Sure is all over the bumper. Oh well, it'll come off. Don't thread it. Don't threat the small things. I wouldn't. But anyways, there's a little update of what's going on here. It's not much. How do you like my awesome paint job on that? It looks pretty fucking shitty, doesn't it? I just, I don't know what's going on there either, to be honest with you. Kind of cocked over. What do we got here? Smooth one. Oh, shit. Guess we're painting this again for the tenth time. That's all right. We'll sand her down and then get in the painter again. I like doing things 10 times. Makes me feel good. Anybody want to buy this truck? It's for sale. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you give me for it once it's done and running. Get rid of this fucking cold I got again. As you can hear in my nose, you probably hear it. I'm stuffed up. Oh, you know what else I got to get before I let you go? I got to get a nut. So I need a 716 by 14. There it is right there. No friggin' way. That can't be it. Is it? No, it's bigger. I knew it was bigger. Oh, it wasn't here. Here it is. It's this one. Right there. That's a guy. Half inch by 13. Half inch by 13 nut. See, this chart is handy after all. See, you can check your nut size. So now what I can do is find a nut that fits that. So if we go in here, we might get lucky. Nope. No, we're not gonna get lucky. You shit out of luck, it's more like it. Oh, oh, hold on. Nope. 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 There it is. Yeah, I haven't got one. I gotta go and buy one nut. What is it? Half inch by 13. Friggin' right, half inch by 13. <sighs> Friggin' rights. But anyways, 
I'm going to let you go until I get some shims. And uh, i got to paint a few things for the back bumper here and clean up a few things over here because it's kind of a mess right now. And then we'll come back and see what we can do. So thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next one, we'll see you then.